In my comments, I had somebody ask me um, why and how much does it cost and how often do I change my oil in my vacuum pumps. So the little field piece right now is on, the big one is off. And if you look at, well, that was on. I was just checking uh, the vacuum, 1100, so let's turn it back on, draw it back down again. So what I'm doing is I'm making the little field piece do the first initial vacuum. Any residual refrigerant that is stuck inside the oil will go through my vacuum pump into oil on this little field piece and any moisture will go into the field piece. And once I get it down here, it's gonna get down below a thousand pretty soon. Then I turn on my big vacuum pump because this is a cheap one. This is only $700. This is a little more expensive one. This is $3,000. This one only holds like a pint of oil and it's a cheaper oil. This one, it's like, what is it? $50, $50 plus 40 some dollars per quart, depending when and where you get it. And uh, so this one, the manufacturer even states in their maintenance, you only have to change oil like once a year or depending whether you see cloudy or you're on a dirty system. This is why I let this be like my rough end pump. This does all the dirty heavy work because I change the oil every day at the end of the day on this one. It only takes like 30 seconds. And then I turn on this one and then open this. This is the advantage of having a four port valve too. I have four ports. So I could just automatically switch from one to another without switching hoses. If there was a fifth port, I would like that even too because I have a use for a fifth port. I used to custom make old analog manifolds with the big valves with a fifth port. All right, guys, I'll get back to you. And that is why I like four ports. This is why I use two different vacuum pumps. And I have gone over in more great detail exactly why I use this pump and exactly why I use this dedicated vacuum hose. All right, I'll see you.